a new way to discover internal ribosomal entry sites in pathology or stress conditions, harnessing latest high-throughput technologies. Translational initiation is the rate-limiting step of translation and thus is important for translational reprogramming in normal conditions. mRNAs are mainly translated in a cap-dependent pathway, but this mechanism is usually impaired during stress and some pathological conditions. Thus, ribosome recruitment by other elements, such as iris, is needed to reprogram translation initiation. However, a high-throughput method to discover irises in pathology or stress conditions in a physiological setting is still lacking. There are three considerations for iris discovery in such conditions. The first consideration is to preserve authenticity. The irises are located in various transcriptomes from different samples. Meanwhile, the transcriptome in the pathology condition could be largely changed. Specific irises related to diseases can only be detected in such conditions. For this consideration, patient-derived samples should be directly used for library construction in iris discovery. The second consideration is to mimic various microenvironments that maintain iris activity. Although parts of iris elements show translation initiation ability in normal conditions, some iris elements have been reported to be activated only in pathology and stress conditions. All these potential iris elements should be identified in a given microenvironment simultaneously. For this consideration, iris elements should be looked for in the microenvironments that maintain or stimulate their activity and systematically identified by a high-throughput technology such as fluorescence-activated cell sorting. Finally, specificity is an important concern because the false positive signals could be easily generated in iris discovery. The Dysostonic luciferase reporter system has been considered the gold standard of iris element identification. As this cartoon depicts, the second cistron of the disistronic construct won't be translated in general. Therefore, enhanced activity of the second cistron should stem from iris elements in the inserted DNA fragments. However, the cryptic promoter activity can increase expression of the second cistron through generating mRNAs with only the downstream cistron. Splicing events can also generate shortened mRNAs without an intact upstream cistron. In addition, some inserted fragments may facilitate read-through, a mechanism that can help ribosomes move past an upstream stop codon of the first cistron. False positive signals are thereby generated by these events. To improve the specificity, a long read length, high throughput technology such as TGS could be employed to detect abnormal transcripts while identifying iris sequences simultaneously. In summary, three considerations mentioned above should be taken into account for iris discovery in pathology and stress conditions. Therefore, we propose a new approach which integrates latest high-throughput technologies to identify irises in such conditions. It is hoped that this proposed methodology may be adopted for iris element discovery, hence uncovering their roles in disease, development and stress.